Good evening, I'm Kyle Mitchell. Police are looking for the man who robbed the People's State Bank near College Mall Thursday morning in Bloomington. Police describe the man as a light-skinned black male, about 5'11", wearing athletic pants with a white stripe and dark shoes with white markings. This was the third robbery at this bank in the past eight months. While tough economic times are cutting into the state's wallet, tax revenue in February dropped 10 percent from last year. Indiana took in $622 million last month, $42 million less than predicted for this year. President Barack Obama has authorized federal disaster aid for 15 southern Indiana counties hit by a late January ice storm. The storm coated southern Indiana with up to three-quarters of an inch of ice, cutting power to more than 100,000 homes and businesses. As the weather warms up, local sap farmers are preparing for an upcoming maple syrup festival. WTIU's Whitney King has more. When that, uh, that drip falls down in to the sap that's already collected, it will uh, make a dripping sound and then you get to where you can uh, hear 8, 10, 12, 14 buckets at one time. It does get like a, a musical uh, rhythm to it. That's part of collecting sap and I just love it. Earlier in the week, local school children visited Burton's Maplewood Farm to learn where maple syrup comes from and how it's made. And if the great taste of this locally produced maple syrup isn't enough, there are health benefits. The medical community has found that the darker B grade is healthier for you in, in terms of there's more antioxidants uh, in uh, B grade maple syrup. Regardless of which kind you like, Burton's Maplewood Farm is hosting the second annual National Maple Syrup Festival this weekend and next in Medora. Miss America will be there tomorrow from 9 to 10 a.m. Tonight in weather, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain, lows in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, high of 72. And tomorrow night, a 60% chance of thunderstorms, lows in the mid-50s. And a look at our five-day forecast Sunday, a 70% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid-60s. And on Monday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of rain, highs in the upper 50s, lows in the mid-40s. And on Tuesday, cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the lower 60s, lows in the upper 30s. For WTIU News, I'm Kyle Mitchell.